Okay, our next interview question has to do with understanding the logical not operator. Whenever you've got an exclamation mark in front of something, it's referred to as the logical not operator. And when you've got two of them side by side, it's referred to as double bang. So the uh, starter code here, if you want your own copy of this, is uh, linked to down in the description. You can grab a copy of that. And I want you to think about what the output from all of these different statements is going to be. And I'll come back in just a second to talk about the solution. Okay, welcome back. So, talking about the logical knot and double logical knot. So, understanding what this does. If you have a single logical knot operator, what that does is it tries to convert the value into a Boolean and then flip the sim the uh, symbol. So if it's true, it changes it to false. If it's false, it changes it to true. By putting two of them side by side, what we're doing is we're taking the value, converting it to a Boolean, flipping the sign, and then putting it back to what it originally was. So basically, we're just converting something to a pure Boolean without changing the sign. So and that means I've got true here. True is a truthy value. So this will be an actual Boolean. So we're not doing anything to this. We're just leaving it as true. Here, an empty string. Well, an empty string is one of the falsy values. So the double bang is just going to change that from a empty string into a Boolean value of false. Number one, it's a truthy value. It is a number which is not zero. So therefore, this is going to be true with negative one. Again, this is a non-zero value. It's a number which is non-zero, so therefore it is a truthy value, and this will be true. Not a number. This is considered to be one of the falsy values, so this one's going to give us a false. Undefined, also one of the falsy values. Now, for this one, it's important to note that we have a false, but the false is inside of quotation marks. That means it is a string. And is a non-empty string, that means it's going to be true. And the final one here, null, if you've seen what we've been doing here so far, you'll get this one. Null is one of the falsy values, so then it has to be false. And we can just open up our uh, terminal here, run this, and compare the values. So I'll put that up to the top, open this up. There we go. So true, false, true, true, false, false, true, false. And there we have it. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.